Hello everybody, it's Holly from Basanted Orchids. I wanted to come to you today and I want to show you three new orchids that I just got from Triton Orchids out of Covington, Louisiana. This was originally going to be an unboxing and trust me, I did an unboxing and it was fabulous, except for my dogs, except for my son, except for people at the door. Um, the list goes on and on. I edited and edited until it was just absolutely nothing left. So what we're going to be doing today, I've locked myself away up in my sewing room. Clear some things out of the way. This is my cutting table. So I think I might be doing some filming up here in the future because it's too much down there. It's too much. So what we have from Triton Orchids is three absolutely beautiful orchids. I did order two and due to the delay, which was through no fault of his own, he did have, he had COVID. So we wish him well. We hope he's healing and on the mend. But um, Michael at Covington, Louisiana from Triton Orchids, he did gift me an extra orchid, which we'll be showing you in a minute. But this is Clown Face. Look at that big, beautiful pseudo bulb in a beautiful new growth. I am over the moon with this. And of course, this is an Oncidium type, and I'm very, very pleased with this. Now, my favorite of them all, Lady Isabel. Look at that. Look at that. The size of that plant is phenomenal. Um, and I think I only paid like maybe 50, roughly $50 for this plant. It's a Pathia Petalum. It has Rothschildianum in it as a parent. I can't remember the other parent, but this is going to have the beautiful long sepals. It's just going to be absolutely fabulous. And it's a perpetual bloomer. I want to say perpetual bloomer. I will, I'll research that more and let you know, but I do see a bud. There is a bud in here. So he said he was going to make my box extra fab because we would be doing an unboxing and due to the fact that there was a delay. So Michael, thank you so much for that. I am just over the moon with the quality of your plants. And I'm sure this is just not because I'm putting a video out on YouTube. I think all your plants are probably this fabulous. I mean, this is amazing. And you can find Triton Orchids on Etsy. T-R-I-T-A-N, Triton, O-N, Triton Orchids. Oh, right here's the tag, let me show you. This is Triton Orchids, Michael J. Cook Jr. Covington, Louisiana, T-R-I-T-O-N. Triton Orchids. If you're looking for somebody new that has a different variety than what you're finding at other places, I'm going to recommend him. Based on what I have received in the mail, large healthy plants. I'm going to say you can't go wrong. This has two fans and a third one for me. So I'm really, really pleased with this one here. Really pleased with this one. Now, as an added bonus, I think due to the delay, which really, it wasn't even his fault, but he was kind enough to send me. This is a blue twinkle dendrobium. Look at that. Beautiful, tiny little spikes forming on there. And I apologize for the lighting. I can't seem to get anything right with the filming lately. It's so bright in this house or there it's dark spots. It's just, I'm gonna have to get some different, a different lighting system. So anyhow, this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful orchid. And it's smaller. It's not like my huge den fowls that take up so much room. I think anytime you hear the name Twinkle, you can think small. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous. And I'm so excited that it's in Spike because I have an orchid talk in Upper Sandusky in roughly two weeks. So... This will be going, this is an added bonus that will be going to Covington for everybody at the library to wow over. And that's another thing, when I do go to these library talks, I do tell them about these growers. I tell them places they can go to order these orchids. And because people, you know, if you're new to the orchid world and you want something different than you're finding at Walmart or other places, well, you need to know where to find them. You need to know who to trust. You need to know what places you can go. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull this back to you a little bit. I am going to say I'm well pleased so far with um, Hauserman. I've never had a problem with. I've never had a problem with Sheldon Carmel Orchids. And so far, this order from Triton is absolutely amazing. I am, I'm going to say 
all the way. If you want to try a new grower, I would give Michael, I would look him up on eBay, like Etsy, excuse me. Oh, I would look him up on Etsy. He has his own shop there. And I would check out some of his orchids. I will be going back in the future and I will be doing the actual unboxing with hopefully no interruptions. And I will be ordering another path because he has some absolutely stunning Pathia petalums on his site. I'm talking beautiful Pathia petalums. So I'm kind of I'm kind of going that direction a little bit with them. I have such a large collection now of orchids of various types that I'm I'm wanting to narrow it down to some really spectacular orchids. And this one here, Lady Isabel, is going to be a winner all the way. She is just, I cannot wait to see her bloom. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm very pleased with the orchids I did get. So I'm assuming this one here, the clown face, is just absolutely beautiful, beautiful orchid. It will, um, it's purple. And I'm kind of over the color purple at the moment because in the springtime, my flower beds are purple. You have irises, you just everything out there, the chive blossoms, everything out in my flower, lupines, everything seems to be purple. But till this one puts up a spike here in a month, a couple months, the purple is gonna be past the flower beds and I will be able to truly enjoy the absolute beauty that is clown face. <laughs> it just has a fun little name too. And this, this one here is purple too. I'm telling you, purple is entering my life. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to learn to absolutely adore the color purple when it comes in and out. It's just a, it's an unusual color, but when you're in the orchid world or the flower world, it works. It's not something I would pull out. It wouldn't wear purple. But in a flower, I say it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So once again, thank you for viewing my little, sorry, not an unboxing, but um, showcasing Triton orchids. I'm telling you, I, w I do think I do have, I have something in a cart right now that I might, <laughs> might have put in the cart already. I'm a little orchid obsessed. I'm having, I'm having a little, little bit of problems lately ordering orchids. I think I'm going to be getting 18 or 20 of them from Sheldon this week and we'll do an unboxing that hopefully I am isolated enough away from the family and the dogs and the ruckus outside that um, we'll be able to actually see the unboxing because it is fun. It's fun for you to see. It's fun for me to open them. Like this was free. So I had no idea what it even was going to be. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I do want to take, I want to actually take the time to thank Michael for this beautiful little orchid. And of course, for the growing conditions of when you offer these, I mean, you've taken very good care of them. I hope I can do as well. And that's another thing. I was speaking to him last night via Etsy, and I did ask him some questions on the care, particularly of this one. I don't want anything to happen to this one. It is glorious. So he was very, very accommodating in answering my questions. So, you know, if you have a grower who's going to talk to you and, and give you some tips or certain things to do with your orchid to make them thrive, that only helps them. And it helps you. It does help their business a lot because your orchids from them are not going to die because you're taking very good care of them. So I'm going to say, once again, thank you, Michael. Thank you for all these beautiful orchids that have been added to my little horde of orchids. I do have, I do have quite a family of orchids growing here. Quite a few families, I guess. There are different families. But thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Thank you for putting up with the conditions of my videos lately. I'm thinking with my hair, I'm going to have to put a, I need dark, I might have to paint the wall a little darker. I kind of disappear into the wall and as summer comes, it just lightens more and more. I'm out this one too much. So um, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. Please like, share, subscribe, and above all, enjoy those orchids.